breaking down. Dave's Gourmet revealed that Veronica received $45,000 up front for purchasing the Pink Sauce brand from her. It was agreed that she would be responsible for handling all refunds to customers who received bad product or didn't receive anything despite paying, paying for it prior to the partnership. After the agreement was signed, it turns out Miss Shaw <clears throat> did not have enough money to cover all refunds, so Dave's Gourmet gave her another $30,000 to cover refunds, even though it was not their responsibility. In fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially, so Dave's Gourmet provided Shaw with multiple cash advantage, advances that totaled more than $40,000. They did not charge her any interest or fees. These advances were supposed to be offset by the future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. Oh my god. She requested a $10,000 marketing expense to throw herself a birthday party to maybe be featured on TikTok. She also requested they pay for her dress $800 and shoes $600. She's, she's, she's insane. She's an actual lunatic. That is so quirky. And now she goes on TikTok daily talking about how Dave fucked her. Now she can't afford to have a house or feed her children. Even though they were more than generous here. Like extremely generous. I don't know how you blow through all of that money in the matter of six months, but that is shameful. Shaw attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills. Dave's Gourmet informed her that such activities were fraudulent. How dumb is she? How can someone actually be that dumb? It's Dave's Gourmet is not your dad. Like, he's not just going to cover every single one of your bills just because he bought your fucking scam-ass pink sauce your biological weapon that you were bottling. He bought your revolting potion for some reason, which was a terrible business decision from Dave's Gourmet to begin with, and now she's just trying to suck as much juice out of the tank as she can here. What in the world? And yeah, no, she she blew through all of this in like six months. She went live talking about, here, you know, I'll just pull up her TikTok again. Talking about how she's homeless, can't feed her children, and Dave's Gourmet, the $120,000 they gave her was in installments, and she spent it all on Airbnbs and hotels. I guess she literally went into diamond and gold-plated Airbnbs in order to spend that much in six months. But she is beyond irresponsible. She has only herself to blame for everything that's happened here. Is this... This is a piece of it, but I don't think it's the whole thing. Is this like, where she talks I'm about it? Short. These people defrauded me. So I will have to sue them for fraud because it's not only the calculation of the royalty, but it's everything else. Everything else like paying for your birthday party of $10,000 plus, including your dress and shoes. Because she started the GoFundMe, which for some reason Kyrie Irving donated $24,000 to. Actual brain dead decision. But I mean, money means nothing to him. So she'll get to throw herself another birthday party with that money and then complain again on TikTok Live. Oh, I'm not lying. Here, look. If you go to her GoFundMe, it, which is still up, you can see the donations. Kyrie Irving is right here. $24,240 a month ago. He's sugar daddying her. So that money's going right in the shitter. <laughs> That's going to be maybe like five pairs of shoes that she's going to blow that one on, I guess. She actually got to experience some of the luckiest set of circumstances a human being can have. Just in her kitchen, cooking up some wicked alchemy, makes the pink sauce, it goes viral on TikTok, people buy it out the ass, and she delivers poison. She basically tries to assassinate people via postage with their pink sauce. And then even in spite of that, she was able to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat by getting bought by Dave's Gourmet. And then she still fumbled that. It's impressive. It's actually impressive. So first of all, I want to acknowledge this $120,000. I like that she puts it in quotes, even though that's exactly what it was. Blog saying that they paid me. So number one... It wasn't an upfront payment of $120,000 straightforward. It was it was sent to me partially. 
I don't know if it blocked out right there because the low battery thing came. But it, they were partial payments. And then also a huge chunk of that money went towards me paying for Airbnb and paying for hotels because, mind y'all, I was homeless for six months. So that's where all of the money apparently went, which I think is impossible. Even if you chose the top line Airbnbs and hotels, you would not blow through 120,000 fucking dollars in six months. It just wouldn't happen. That is unbelievably reckless. So that is a blatant boldface lie. Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children and to avoid being evicted. Dave's Gourmet sent her two advances that totaled 5k. This seems... Honestly, everything that's happened with this lawsuit makes Dave's Gourmet seem like a fucking saint. Like an absolutely beautiful place and business partner. They just keep giving her money because they're buying into her lies. She is not spending shit on her children or anything besides herself. And they keep sending her money. And then she keeps being such an asshole to them. She had a party on a yacht and tried to flex on TikTok. No way. There's just no shot she had a party on a yacht. Let me see. Now I have to check that claim. She, I don't even think she'd be that dumb. Because Dave Gourmet would see that. Another thing she whined about was that she had to do or pay for all the marketing herself. But here, let me give you a peek at her super expensive marketing for the pink sauce. Just take a video of pink sauce on some food. Nothing else. Actually, nothing else. So that cost zero dollars. Yeah, I don't see the yacht you're referring to, though. In June of 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to Dave's Gourmet that included requests for payment for her time dedicated to making social media content. Such requests were outside of the terms of the agreement. Dave's Gourmet then asked for clarifications related to the various expenses listed by Shaw, but backups, receipts, and explanations were not provided. What a shocking development there. She didn't provide any proof of the thing she was claiming the money was being used on. Not, not because it wasn't being used by what she was saying, just because, fuck you. Why don't you trust her? Ms. Shaw had certain obligations in her contract related to social media activities that she violated multiple times, but Dave's Gourmet chose not to enforce them as to not create a strained relationship. I didn't think she could make herself look like more of an asshole than the time she was on the uh, the Karamo show interview where she condescend condescendingly, Jesus, condescendingly talked to that lady who was just concerned about her health with pink sauce. But yet somehow she found a way. She looks like an even bigger asshole now. This company did not even force her to abide by the contract she signed because they didn't want to have a bad relationship with her. And then she goes and burns the bridge anyway publicly. She started all of this, by the way. It wasn't Dave's Gourmet. She is the one that blew the lid off of this with all the hoopla. In total, Veronica Shaw received over $120,000 in payments from her partnership with Dave's Gourmet and Pink Sauce since August of 2022 to date. Dave's Gourmet offered to pay her attorney fees to go over her contract and make sure all payments she has received are in fact correct, but she declined. She's just been brain rotted by TikTok. She really thinks if she just whines and cries on TikTok, somehow the big bad Dave's Gourmet is going to give her even more money that she doesn't deserve. They did so much for her. Far more than any reasonable sane person or company would ever do for somebody. And it still wasn't enough for her gluttony. That pink sauce was toxic to her mind. She truly got lost in the sauce.